Hello dear students, welcome back to Royson Creations YouTube channel. In this class, let us analyze Maths Model Preparatory Question Paper Part 2. Already I have explained 30 questions in the previous video. So today I am going to explain the remaining questions of the question paper. So those who are watching first time, please subscribe and share with your friends. So 31st question, this is 3 marks question children. A polynomial P of X is divided by 2, 2, 2X minus 1. The quotient and the remainder obtained are 7X square plus X plus 5 and 4 respectively. Find P of X. So they have given G of X that is G of X is equal to 2X minus 1 they have given. And Q of X also they have given that is 7X square plus X plus 5 and the R of Rx that means remainder also they have given 4. So we have to find out P of X. So P of X is equal to G of X into Q of X plus R of X. This is the formula. So multiply G of X and Q of X. So write it 2X minus 1 into 7X square plus X plus 5 plus 4. So now you have to multiply because this is a binomial term. So 2x you should multiply with these terms. Again 1 you should multiply with the same these trinomial terms. So 2x into 7x square plus x plus 5 minus 1 into 7x square plus x plus 5 plus 4. So 7 2s are 14. Here basis is same. So when the bases are same you can add the power. So x cube agate plus 2x square plus 10x minus 7x square minus uh, x minus 5 plus 4. So now add the same ter like terms. So here 14x cube is there. So write it 14x cube. Here plus 2x square is there. Here minus 7x square is there. So we write it minus 5x square plus 9x is 10x is there. Here minus 1x. So subtract that you get 9x. So minus 1. So this is the p of p. Question number 32. Prove that the length of the tangent drawn from the external point to a circle are equal. So here they have given the theorem based on the circle. So please children I have explained all. I have given in the passing package also. Concentrate on the theorem because one theorem will be for 4 to 5 marks and one theorem will be for 3 marks. So the circle chapter only they are going to give in the 3 marks. So practice here I am not going to explain the theorem. So, I will go with the next problem children. Question number 33. In the figure ABCD is a square and two semicircles touch each other externally at P. The length of each semicircular arc is equal to 22 centimeter. Find the area of the shaded region. So, here they have given, here there is a two semicircle. See, here you can see the two semicircle. They have touched externally. They are not internally touched. They have uh, touched externally. And the length of the each semicircular arc is equal to 22 centimeter. They have given. So, we have to find out this shaded part of the given region. So, now we know the circumference of the circle because they are given semicircle. So, circumference of the circle means that is C is equals to 2 pi r. Right. But here semicircle is there. So, we have to take pi r is equal to 22. We can't take 2 pi r. Why? Because here there is only semicircle. So, pi r is equal to 22. So, therefore 22 by 7 into r is equal to 22. So, r is equal to 22 into 7 divided by 22. 22 and 22 cancel other. The remaining is 7 cm. Therefore, we got the radius r is equal to 7 cm. So, therefore, the side of the square because here this is 7 cm and this radius also will become 7 cm. So, therefore, the side of the squares will become 14 cm. Therefore, the area of the shaded region is equal to area of the square minus 2 into area of the semicircle. Therefore, what is the area of the square? Area of a square formula we know that that is the a square. Therefore, 14 square minus 2 area of semicircle. Therefore, 2 into half into 22 by 7 into 7 square. So, 14 14 is 196 minus 
two two get cancelled. Here one seven and another seven get cancelled. So therefore the remaining is twenty two into seven. Therefore one ninety six minus one fifty four is equal to forty two centimeter square. Fifth main. The answer the following questions four into four sixteen marks. Thirty fourth question. Find the solution of the pair of linear equations by graphical method. So here the first question will be always graph only will be there. So here they have given x plus y is equal to six and two x plus y is equal to ten. So write the two equations, children. So write it. So here first we have to find the x value. So here first take one equation x plus y is equal to six. Therefore y is equal to six minus x. So now you have to going on substitute giving the value for the x. So now you write this table x and y. So first, what you have to do, give the value for x. So x I am given zero. When you are given the value, x will become zero. So y will become six. And when x will become one, six minus one, how much? Five. Therefore, one five. When you give the value for x two, therefore six minus two four bantu. Again, give the value three. So again, you will get three. So like that. For each equation, also you have to find the value of x and y because then only, if you know the coordinate, then only you can get the graph. So at the same time, you take another equation, 2x plus y is equal to 10. So y is equal to 10 minus 2x. So now give the value for x. So x value zero adre, in agate, y value will become 10. When x value will become one, so it will become eight. Same thing till. You need how much points you need. You can find out three points also sufficient. Four points also is sufficient. So now give the value for x to three. So three to use a six. So ten minus six to four. So like that you have to write the table. See for this children you will get half of marks. For this half marks. For this half marks. So next year you have to draw the graph. So now what you have to do? First you have to mark this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. This is the origin. Okay, now so here first equation. Take the first equation that is in zero six mark it zero comma six. In one five is there one comma five, two comma four, three comma three, four comma two. Okay, now at the same time you take the another equation. So you have to write it, children. Here, the this line is, uh, and after making a point, you have to take the scale and you have to draw a line. Okay, now this is first equation is finished. Next, second equation coordinates are there here. So when zero, it will become ten. So mark it there. Then one eight. See here in one comma eight. Next two comma six. Yes, two comma six, three comma four. Four comma two. See now, mark the point and take the scale and draw the line. See now, the two lines also meet at the point of four comma. So like that, you have to draw the graph, children. Then only you are going to get the complete four marks. Okay, na? The next one is thirty fifth question. The perimeter of it. A rectangle is forty centimeter and its area is ninety six square centimeter. Calculate its length and breadth. So here they have given the perimeter of the rectangle that is forty centimeter and also area also they have given. So we have to find the length and breadth of the rectangle. So here we know that perimeter of a rectangle is two x plus two y. Okay, na. So we know the formula. Two x plus two y is equal to perimeter of a rectangle. So here perimeter of a rectangle they have given what is forty centimeter. So two x plus two y is equal to forty. So two comma x plus y is equal to forty. Therefore x plus y is equal to so two will comes to denominator. So it will divide the number. So forty by two two ones are two twenty sir. So now we got the equation that is x plus y is equal to twenty. So y is equal to twenty minus x. So We got the value of y. इलिगे नम्बर के y value सिक्त हो, okay ना? So now you take the area of the rectangle. What is the area of the rectangle? Ninety six centimeter. Therefore we know the formula length into breadth. So x y is equal to ninety six. So y value already we know that substitute here. So x into twenty minus x is equal to ninety six. 
therefore 20x minus x square is equal to 96 therefore x square minus 20x plus 96 is equal to 0 now we have to go with the factorization method multiply madre 96 per beko add madre 20 per beko so that number will be 12 8 sa so therefore x square minus 12x minus 8x plus 96 is equal to 0 therefore here x is common take x outside therefore the remaining is x minus 12 here 8 is common so take 8 outside so minus 8 into x minus 12 is equal to 0 therefore here x minus 12 is common so the remaining is x minus 8 therefore here x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x is equal, x minus 8 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 8 therefore length will become 12 centimeter breadth will become 8 centimeter so for this question you have an option the age of two students a and b are 11 years and 14 years respectively find how many years it will take so that the products of their age becomes equal to 3 naught so in this given question children we know the age of the each student but we don't know at how many years will require to become the product of the age become 3 not 4 so i am considering that require year as a x okay na? so after x year the age of a will become x plus 11 because it is adding that will become the product will become 3 not 4 11 add up to so that x plus 11 at the same time after x year of age b will also become x plus 14 therefore the product of their age is 3 not 4 they have given so now multiply x plus 11 into x plus 14 is equal to 3 not 4 so x square plus 11 x plus 14 x plus 54 is equal to 3 not 4 therefore add these two like term therefore x square plus 25x plus 154 is equal to 304 take 304 to the left side so then it will become plus will become minus so x square plus 25x plus 54 minus 304 is equal to 0 so after subtraction you got 150 so therefore if you multiply you should get 150 if you are adding that number should get 25 so that number we have to take so we have to do the pro uh, factorization therefore x square plus 30x minus 5x minus 150 is equal to 0 so here x is common here 5 is common so after taking x plus 30 and x minus 5 will you will get so x plus 30 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 30 or x is equal to therefore after see here i am considering positive value wherever you are taking positive value only we have to consider therefore i am neglecting minus 30 therefore after 5 years of the age the product of their age will become 304 question number 36 a building and a tower on the same level ground the angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree if the height of the tower is 60 meter find the height of the building so read again so here the building will be there see they have given see this is the building from the top of the building if you are seeing the foot you will get in the angle of elevation that is 30 degree at the same time the foot of the building if you are starting uh, if you are seeing from the foot of the building you will get 60 cent 60 meter height of the tower so find the height of the building so we don't know the building height so we have to find out so therefore now we know that here in triangle bdc in triangle bdc tan 60 is equal to cd by bd therefore we know the cd value that is uh, 60 so write it 60 so tan 60 and the root 3 root 3 is equal to 60 by bd therefore bd is equal to 60 by root 3 so we got the bd value that is you take it as the equation one so in triangle abd in triangle abd tan 30 is equal to ab by bd therefore tan 30 means 1 by root 3 is equal to ab by bd so the bd is equal to root 3 ab so you consider equation 2 therefore from 1 and 2 root 3 ab is equal to 
60 by root 3 why because here also bd is there here also bd is there so therefore it will cancel so the remaining is root 3 ab is equal to 60 by root 3 therefore ab is equal to 60 divided by root 3 into root 3 root 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 get cancelled so 60 by 3 3 ones are 320 so therefore the height of the building the height of the building is 20 centimeter next question number 37 a medicine capsule is in the shape of the cylinder with hemisphere stuck to each of its ends. The length of the entire capsule is 14 millimeter and the diameter of the capsule is 5 millimeter. Find the surface area. See here they have given the capsule, medicine capsule that is in the form of cylinder and here the hemisphere is stuck to each end. Erdu kade in the hemisphere. And the length of the entire capsule is 14 millimeter and the diameter is 5 millimeter. So we have to find the surface area of the capsule. Therefore, to find surface area of the capsule, we have to add CS of a cylinder and 2 into CS of a hemisphere. Okay na. So therefore we know the CS of a cylinder is a 2 pi R H. What is the formula of CSA of the hemisphere that is 2 pi r square therefore 2 pi r h plus 2 into 2 pi r square therefore 2 pi r h plus 4 pi r square therefore here 2 pi r is the common so take it outside the remaining is h plus 2 r therefore 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.5 into 9 plus 2 into 2.5 so after adding and subtraction we will get 2 into 22 divided by 7 into 2.5 into 14. Therefore, 7 ones are 7 twos are. So, we got 2 into 22 into 2.5 into 2. So, multiplying, after multiplying, you will get 44 into 5. Therefore, 220 millimeter square. Therefore, the surface area of the medicine capsule is 220 millimeter square. Last main and the last question. Answer the following question. Here, only one question that carry 5 marks. State and prove Pythagoras theorem. So, you have to prove the theorem. First, you should write children the statement of the theorem in a right angle triangle. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So, here you have to draw the figure and then you have to write the data. What, you, what the data they have given, what you have to prove, then construction, then proof. So, step by step you are going to get the marks if you are writing everything then only you are going to get the 5 marks still that you have to write so i am not going to explain because already i have explained in the separate one video only i explained the all the theorems so you can watch that and you can understand how to write the theorem so thank you for watching this video for more videos please subscribe royson creations youtube channel